Hello, my home shoppers and the realtors. I want to talk this week about the loan level price adjusters. They've been getting a lot of attention in the media. And so I want to talk to you about them. Uh, it's not something I've been talking about. And here's why, because the changes that are being talked about actually already went into effect in March because the May 1st deadline that's getting a lot of attention in the media is when Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac will start purchasing loans with these adjusters already accounted for in the loans. So to ensure that they already made all this part of the loan process back in March. So if you've been, well, you have been looking at numbers, looking at what things would cost, all of that's going to stay the same. Nothing is changing for you early May. So the basic of it is don't worry. Uh, if you do want to dive a little bit deeper, then keep watching. And I'm going to talk about the changes that happened and uh, where things are now. So if we go here, this chart has been getting a lot of attention and this is go going over what changed. So for example, if somebody, uh, and this is why this is getting a lot of attention. If somebody is putting 15% down, so between a little bit, you know, over or less than 20%. So if they're putting 15% down, then back in March, their pricing got 0.75% worse. What this means is that for every hundred thousand dollars in loan amount, not purchase price, but loan amount, their closing costs went up $750. Uh, conversely, somebody, this most extreme example, somebody with a very low down payment and very low credit score there, let's see, can I move this? Yeah, under 639, which can't really get a mortgage under 620. So it's a very small population. Um, their pricing got better by 1.75%. So their closing costs want, went down by $1,750 for every 100,000 in loan amount. Um, this has been inflammatory because the feeling is that folks with good credit are subsidizing those with poor credit. I don't really jump into that because here we go. Let's look at the next. Um, here's what's real now. Okay. Uh, how do I make this bigger? Um, there we go. So what's real now is that if you have a good credit score, your credit score is over 780, then and you're putting at least 25% down, then there is no additional fee added to your loan. Conversely, if you have a lower credit score, so for example, a 640, then you will have to pay an additional $1,500 for every $100,000 loan amount. So it is still true that a better credit score gets you a cheaper loan. <laughs> uh, keep paying your bills. The, the, the media has gone so far as to almost make people think that they should stop making their payments on time in order to have a worse credit score. That's silly. That's not what is intended with all this. Um, I do want to point out, sorry, I do want to point out that the uh, adjusters go down a little bit when the down payment also goes down, which feels counterintuitive. Uh, this happens because the lender has mortgage insurance. And so since this is risk-based pricing, if the, if the buyer is putting 20% down, then they're saying, okay, and they have a credit score of 720, just to give this example, then the additional cost to the loan would be 1.25% of the loan amount. As, as part of the fee. Whereas if they put 5% down, that goes down to 0.875. And that's because the mortgage insurance will pay out if that, uh, if that loan defaults, therefore it's lower risk to the investor. So it's a little counterintuitive, but it makes sense from a risk-based pricing perspective. So just wanted to go over this with you. At the end of the day, keep paying your bills on time. It pays off your mortgage will be cheaper. If you have any questions, let me know. And fundamentally, no major changes happening on Monday. Don't worry about it. Have a great weekend.